Swimming. It is a life-saving skill that most Americans don't know. The statistics, in fact, are staggering. Most people can't swim well enough to save themselves. And those numbers are even higher among black Americans. Amanda is joining us now with her personal story and her own journey of learning how to swim. Good morning. Good morning. So, I mean, my parents signed me up for swim lessons twice when I was, once when I was six and another time when I was 12 years old, but the lessons never stuck. And then a near drowning when I was learning to swim at a YMCA in North Carolina changed everything. It caused me to stop taking lessons. It made me nervous any time I was near deep water. Now, 19 years later, I'm back at the Y, facing my fear with the goal of learning to swim. I'm here at the Brooks Family YMCA doing something I haven't done in nearly 20 years, learning how to swim. Oh. It's something many Americans aren't able to do, at least not well. Aquatics director Shane Myers says it's extremely important to know how to swim, especially living here in the Sunshine State. In Florida especially, you know, there's so many bodies of water that you know, can be potentially dangerous for us. Um, and we can learn those skills and be able to help ourselves out in a sticky situation. It's a full circle moment for me, returning to a place where I learned some skills before a near drowning and a family move caused me to press pause on lessons. The Red Cross says more than half of Americans don't swim well enough to save themselves. The USA Swimming Foundation says 64% of black children can't swim compared to 40% of white children. 78% of black parents have little to no swimming ability compared to 67% of white parents. And black children ages 10 to 14 are nearly eight times more likely to drown than white children. Studies show it's partially because of institutionalized racism surrounding the history of municipal swimming pools. Brooks Y VP of Social Responsibility Erica Moore says there are also other factors. Or I think um, a lot of that either has to do with access. Um, in addition to that, I think it has to do with if the parent has any fear of water or if there's been a traumatic experience in their childhood that typically trickles down to the younger generation. My story is a little different. Both of my parents know how to swim and I had access to classes. But after nearly drowning in the deep end of a pool at 12 years old, I didn't want to be near a pool deeper than five feet. My desire to learn how to swim again now outweighs my fear of deep water. What are some of the tactics that we're going to learn? So some of the tactics that we're going to learn, um, biggest thing is floating, being confident um, on top of the water and under the water. I'm going to give you skills to learn how to kick, learn how to move your arms. Um, hopefully eventually we'll be able to give you one full lap um, and also be able to teach you another stroke as well. So for my first lesson, we went over the basics. First thing what I want to see is can you put your head all the way under the water? All right, one, two, three. Mm. Good. <laughs> okay. All right, Woo. that's step one, honestly, yeah. you being able to know how to put yourself under and get yourself down. Yeah. All right. We also went over back floating. My memory is like gone from floating, so like a starfish. Yep. Okay. And front floating. Here you go. Good, good, good. That's perfect. Then we went over techniques using floaties. And by the end of the lesson, I put the first few skills I learned to the test. From where you came to now, how do you feel about the skills that you've learned from where you started? Um, I learned a lot because just even within this first lesson, me knowing a little bit of the techniques helped me get a little farther than before. Because before when I would swim, like in water that was just this deep, I would stop after like five seconds. Yeah. So at least I was able to get halfway through. My ultimate goal is to finish what I started right here at the Y. By the end of my lessons, my course of my lessons, I'll be able to swim from this side to the other side. All right, yeah. let's do a high five. <laughs> okay. The YMCA says they have students from six months old to senior citizens in their 70s and 80s that are learning to swim. They also have initiatives like the Safety Around Water program that aims to teach minorities how to swim. So I'm very excited about this journey and I hope it inspires people to learn how to swim at an early, uh, even later on in life. It's never too late to learn. Do you, wh what part do you think of that lesson gave you so much anxiety? It looked maybe putting your head 
head under the water, you looked like you had maybe a flashback. It did, it did, because I remember jumping off of the diving board when I was 12 years old at the YMCA and not being able to come up. I was trying to doggy paddle out. I didn't know what to do. And so I was yelling, help, help, help. And so finally a lifeguard came in and he dived in and saved me. Everyone started clapping and that was the last time oh. I got into the deep end. So every time when I sunk, when I had to dip my head underwater, that kind of brought back memories of when I was 12 years old, 19 years ago. In, you know, getting that help from a lifeguard. You were telling me that the pool back then was about nine feet deep. Nine is feet. your goal to get into nine feet of water or is your goal to get back on the diving board? And both, I will say both. I want to get back on the diving board and dive into that nine feet deep water just to say that I was able to do it. So that is the goal by the end of all of this. So do you think when you get up on that diving board, yeah. you're gonna be thinking, oh my gosh, flashback, or you're gonna be thinking, eh, I'm ready. I think I'll be ready, as long as there's a lifeguard there. So I'm sure that I'll be able to do it. Well, and as yes. you go through this process with the lessons, you'll become yeah. more and more mm -hmm. comfortable with the water. Yeah, absolutely. You know, when you reach that point, they're fantastic at the water. They're, they I are. Mean, they're just wonderful they people. are. When you think of swimming, you think of the YMCA. That was the first yeah. organization that came to mind, and that's why I was like, I have to go back to the Y and, and finish what I started. Hopefully after you do it, it's like, what took me so long to get back up on this horse? I know. Horse? I know. It's never too late. If you are an adult and you don't know how to swim, just go on ahead and sign up for lessons. It's not too late.